Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. I hope you're all okay. Now today I'm going to make a relaxing hamper. Now at the back there, there's a few other hampers and gift wrapped gifts that we've made and made up previously. If you want to check the videos out for those, I will pop them in the description in case you haven't seen them. So as I said, this one is going to be a relaxing hamper, a really nice gift and a really nice thoughtful gift that you can give um, for any occasion really. Right, so first of all, I'm gonna show you the hamper that I'm going to use. Now this hamper came from the range. Now Poundland often sell hampers, so keep your eye out. They do sell them just for a pound, so bear that in mind. This is a really nice one, it's a pink one, and it's one of the ones that's got the raised part at the back, so it just makes it a little bit easier when you're stacking things up. You get the stuff at the filling in there, you also get the cello wrap and a pull bow as well, so you can use the pull bow if you want to that's in the pack, it's really, really pretty and cute. So I'm going to show you the items here that came from Poundland. So first of all, we've got a box of milk tray. You'll see the theme that we're going on and the colour scheme. Then we bought some of the relaxing foot masks. These are from the Land of the Nod range. There's some pillow spray. So if you, if you struggle going to sleep, this Land of Nod range is really, really good. They do like bath salts, um, bath soak. They do loads and loads of different things. But I just picked out a few things that I thought might be quite nice. And then we've got some calming lavender and chamomile essential oils. So I've got those. I thought we could pop them into a burner, one of the tea light burners. This came from Poundland as well. It wasn't a pound, it was 150. But you can, in some shops, pick them up cheaper than 150. This was in their Pep & Co range. So, but I thought it was really cute and it kind of fitted in with the basket. So that's why I spent a little bit more than probably I could get. Also, this is really cute um, because it's for a gift. It says from my nan and always my friend. And that's the only thing that I'm putting in that's not from Poundland because it's from Home Bargains. But I'm only doing that because um, of the recipient. So that's the only reason I'm doing that. You could leave that, that out. So let's move all these bits to one side and we'll start and build the basket up. Right, so th this basket has got this wood kind of curly stuff in, and I don't like that, actually, if I'm being completely honest. I much prefer the tissue paper, but it's fine. It'll do the job that it needs to do. You also get your cello wrap inside there, and you get a pull bow, so you have everything that you need. You don't have to buy the, the cello wrap separately. This is the wrap that you get from Poundland. You get uh, 50 centimetres wide. It's 10 metres. So that is absolutely fine to do that. Can you see it's it's loads bigger than the sides? So if you didn't have, um, you know, buy a basket with a, with all these bits in, then you can just buy the cello wrap separately and that will be absolutely fine. So we'll take those out in a second. But what we'll do is we'll just build up the basket. So these are just ideas, really. The, the bits and pieces that I've got, you can do. You can chop and change them. You know, you can do whatever you feel that you want to do change it if you want you can add personalized handmade made gifts in there that would be fine and i just think they look super super cute do you know what have i got room for this probably not um let's just poke that down there and then that's a really really nice full basket i'll just pop that to the back and we will open our little pack can you see how quickly that we put that together it took no time at all. So obviously the cello wrap is going to be plenty big enough because it's all been measured out for us. We haven't got to think about it. So we've got a big square of cello wrap. If it's a square and it's big, then I tend to put it this way round so the points are front and back. And... All we're going to do is just pull up the sides and scrunch it so it all comes to the middle at the top. Now, if you don't have any extra curling ribbon, I'll just show you this before we get started on that. Inside this pack, you get this really cute little pull bow. So I'll just show you how to use them. They're like that. You get two pieces here either side, and then you get these little two strands in the middle. What you do is you put your fingers like that, you pull it up, and that gives you a little bow. And then these little bits here, you just use those to tie, the cello wrap's falling down, you just tie that into a knot and then that holds the bow still. And then that's what you can tie it 
on with like that. So if you wanted to do that, that is that one. I'm going to use a little bit of the, the curling ribbon. I just find that this holds it nicely and it keeps it quite kind of still. So we'll get the top two bits, then we're going to grab the side bits, and then the other side. And we're going to pull it up together. Like that. And then we're going to scrunch. That's all you need to do is scrunch. So when you've done it, just make sure you pull this bit to the back. Don't pull it to the front because it does hide what you've got inside. So if we've done that, then we're going to get our curling ribbon. We're going to go round, and this is what's going to hold it still for us. We'll just do that a couple of times, and that holds it nice and secure and nice and still. And then we just need to fluff out the back bit. And once you've fluffed it out, I've got some bits at the top that are a little bit longer. So I'm just going to cut them at an angle just so the top is all about the, roughly about the same height. And with this, I'm going to put on this purple curling ribbon because I thought it would match the uh, Land of Nod stuff really quite well. You can sell these bits or you can just cut them off. It doesn't really matter. So... This one didn't come with the pack, it's one that I had already. If you want to get these, then you can Google florist's bow. That's, um, you know, that they put on flowers, that's what these are. So we're just doing exactly the same thing with this that we would have done with the other. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some of these off. So we've got some extra bits here, because we don't need all of that. And then we're gonna get the bow and we will go around the back and then bring those bits back around the front. And then we're gonna tie those underneath at the front. And then these bits we're going to curl because you will still be able to see them. And if you've got the, the extra bits that we cut off, the extra purple bits of ribbon, you can tie those round if you want to, and you can cut those and sort of curl those and add those in as well if you want. But I'm not going to bother because I don't really need to, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And also the little pink bow that we've got, I can use that for another project. That's just curled up a little bit. But that should, it's been stuck in my thingy, but that is it all done i think they look super cute you can put anything you want in the contents but i think a real nice relaxing gift set is really cool and i think anyone would love that what i'm probably going to do is stick that down a little bit with a bit of tape because that's going to keep flicking up so there's a little tip for you just kind of stick that down and it stays where you want it to stay then so that's it for me i hope you've enjoyed watching this video i hope you're all okay if you do want to check out any of the other hamper videos in the background there then i'll pop the links for those in the description so you can just click on those and have a little look but that's it for me i hope you're all okay i hope you're keeping safe and well and i'll see you again soon so you take care bye for now